All right, and welcome back to campaign 15. It's late August of 1862. We have not made the most of this summer, but we're not really in a position to because Patterson is calling the shots. And I guess, well, the force he's leading is battle experience, which kind of makes sense. And he's like good enough. I, I don't think the boys like him. And he's parked us in friendly territory without any supply. And so I kind of understand why they don't like him. Uh, I kind of don't like him either now, but we joined this force because they had, we, we saw a division that was pretty much too good of a deal to pass up, and uh, it had three cab brigades, and two of them had Maynards to start with, and so we got them real cheap. And on the campaign map, it's basically a tie as morale and support will converge towards one another. We just need numbers, man. And uh, yeah, that's out of our hands. We should be able to recruit. Uh, right, so below triple C plus, Congress won't allow for further recruitment. I don't know why we're allowing ourselves to be out recruited by the CSA, but we are. And again, we're staying in our lane. It's not something we can do, so I'm not that worried about it. We have money. Uh, I'm trying to slim down by putting myself on on this diet. I'm not. I'm not going to pay to go to fat camp. I refuse. Uh, but we we definitely probably should. Uh. Over here, what do we do? Do we, eh, let's do another take of fundraising while we're here. And that'll probably give us enough money to ensure that we could do, yeah, we could comfortably go for the prestige bomb. There we go, we're up to yellow and, um, get ourselves another thousand prestige but also have money on hand <coughs> for reasons right if, if, if we need it but uh yeah this will just be the the prestige farming continues and uh if we can't do it in battle we'll have to do it out of battle and it's certainly limiting our our ability to get promoted because we're not able to get into battle get these uh the prestige from fighting and we have like a good force to do it so that, that's kind of another reason why I don't really care to get promoted. Uh, although, I think I would probably do much better than Patterson. <laughs> I would do much more with Patterson's army than what he's doing. I don't know what else Beauregard has down here. But if this is all it is... Uh, uh, Alright, so he hurt... Like, I don't I don't know what the issue is, man. But he, Patterson is just so bad at getting readiness back. I don't know if it's because of stuff I'm doing as division commander or stuff that other people are doing. And it's not trickling up to him, or if his admin... I thought it was okay. Yeah, he's a good administrator. Like, readiness should be something that he's able to get back. He's got a lot of cav. He doesn't seem to order it to do any scouting, which would definitely help uh, continue. Yes, we want to do a new action. All right, we have, we have the money on hand, so we can go ahead and... My goodness, I'm still gaining weight. Uh... Yeah, so we'll do that one, relieve ourselves of $1,000, and uh, get 1000 prestige for it. And maybe it's time for some bling, it, minus the horse, which I do want, I do. It's just these things here are never that great. Order delays are a thing, so I want a pocket watch to reduce those. Spyglass, increasing initiative. Actually, we need that. French binoculars, prestige. Usually, I would say for sure. But actually, we're we're a little weak on initiative, and the staff that we have on hand hasn't. That's not one of their things. Or, yeah, it's not one of their things. So, all right, over here, what do we have? Colonel Johnson's sword. That's a lot, man. All right, these guns are a little bit better. Your fame and prestige are increased? I need that. All right. Let's do it. So we got that. We're going to save up, though, for... I don't know who, who these people... My goodness. What is this? Carrying the sword of the legendary commanding general will be noted all across the nation.
Yeah, maybe maybe this one. With with the right amount of money, right? At Division Command we have it's 500. It's it, it's probably not going to be worth it, but it does help us uh, increase fame and it says rallying on the battlefield and uh yeah we, we we may very well need it so that's actually kind of cool uh we're probably gonna need at least a thousand for the horse we want though so af after this prestige goes through we want to get back to the fundraising and we should have the passive money from our investments kicking in so <laughs> money well spent it is it is money well spent that is that is correct uh glorious victory at fort whipple that's cool and actually, back in camp, if we ever get around to camping again, there's... It, I mean, what are we doing right now? Um, you know what? That actually might be okay. Is our If our training level is at least good, I think we could probably just rest. No, it's not. It's still poor. So we, we, we do have to put more into training. So we'll pull. We'll see what we can get by on just one hour there. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, as much fun as this has been, let's take another hour out of here. And we got to kind of rush. Rush this training because it is. It's, it's still a decent amount of cav and... They're well armed. So. Let's try to make sure that they got the training to hold them in battle long enough. And, and we stopped here. Just in the orange. Yeah, and we have nothing better to do than feud with Kimball. So. Um, let's see. New debt. Tax revenues grew, though. Kind of a drop in the bucket, I think, but yeah, they're going for Revenue Act 2, as they should, and they're carrying out offensive operations. <laughs> Is this still Johnston trying to get out of here? Oh my god, I I want to help him. I feel this is not this is not good a good dynamic at all. But and casualties are growing. Casualties have doubled. It and it must all be out west. Because we have not, we've basically shuffled the the Washington Frederick shuffle for the summer of '62. Uh, granted, last several episodes we've gotten at least one. Yeah, almost every episode we've gotten a decent battle in. Uh, I'm not sure what the catalyst would be for this one, and I think I'm gonna pause you all because you know, we, we we got nothing going on. So when we do have something going on, what? Are you kidding me? Are you? I think they just do these things to keep the campaign going. Like, even if there is no proof of this, and there shouldn't be, I have good relations with my subordinates. I mean, yeah, there, you know, there's the German banker, and then, yeah, the companion, yeah, he's a little suspect. I get it, but it's not me, man. I, I've done all right. But like I said, I'm going to pause you until something, uh, I think, more notable happens than us watching the uh, clouds pass. I don't know if this is the right kind of notable, but we've been ordered. My goodness, man. Somehow Johnston's core has made it all the way up here. And they're just like hanging out in New Jersey. And how are we the only ones to know about this? I yeah, I don't know why I'm asking you. You didn't do it, but there is a supply depot, so you know, we, we should be able to get supplies. I would think outnumbering them two to one, we might be okay. But my goodness, we... dude, what is going on here? He is. I mean, it explains why reinforcement speed is lower, and why we still don't have two of my cap brigades back over two thousand readiness. Now, this is the Army of New York with, well, that's not enough to deal with Johnston's score. So we'll see if we actually get a battle here, uh, but at least we're getting some exercise. I'm sure that, I'm sure I'm stress eating under these allegations of treason. Yep, and I haven't, even though I'm on, 
the uh, Weight Watchers of the time, it's not really doing anything. Uh, all that stuff has gone through. Wasn't there a sword here I, I wanted? And I was like, yeah, I'm going to get it. This one. Yeah, increasing fame and rallying greatly. That's what I... Look, dude, that was good. That was... It, it looked like almost a full bar of... A full star of fame for $500. Think about it. That's... It, if you go back to the actions, that's one 200 prestige event. Right? You're trading 200 prestige for $500, and then you put it into that sword, and you get almost a full star of fame. But if you look at the other actions, what it takes to get... Uh, where? It's this one. Fame and fortune. So, yeah, that's basically half the price, right? And and not, not even really, because uh, I think it's Grand Review. Right. So this cost a thousand prestige, but basically one take of fundraising turns two hundred prestige into five hundred dollars, and five hundred dollars into a star of fame. So that is so much better. Uh, yeah, I, I like I like that sword. <laughs> if if you can't tell, and now we only re the only thing that remains is we're we're just holding out for the perfect the perfect steed. I don't know. I'm thinking maybe black stallion. That that's a bit much for me, man. I don't know. White horse. Maybe the wild horse suits us with i don't know our contrarian outrageous hermit person conservative personality uh yeah i think maybe maybe it's time for that curiously with three stars of fame we're still ranked 48 i i mean i'm reading i mentioned this in uh one of the other videos but i'm, I'm reading i think i actually got the wrong one I, i'm reading uh hess's book it's not the one that's called logistics it's uh, the one about supply and, and strategy. But it's it's very... My goodness! How are we moving along a railroad in friendly territory? And he, Patterson has managed to get us in the red. I don't know. Yeah, blood and iron. All right. Um, oh, did that action finish? Or is that prestige? Is that prestige from buying... That might have been... Well, some, some of the things I brought recently certainly got me more. Um, the clothes, not worth it. You don't get that much prestige from it. All right, so this one hasn't finished. So we're going to get 1,000 prestige on top of that. And I would actually wager we're getting pretty close to being able to buy. Yeah, right now. Well, I think the allegations of treason would hurt. I forget what I'm not supposed to do. Harm my chances of promotion. Uh, well, we'll see. Uh, but we might use that prestige for other things. We'll, we'll, we'll see. It's cold today? Is it? Well, yeah, it's 46 and raining, I guess. Well, <laughs> I I really thought like the battle would have would have arrived more quickly. Yeah, we're we're definitely gonna do this so that there's some sort of martial enjoyment here. So I just realized, first of all, I may not have actually paused the video. I don't know if I paused the video when I went up to uh, get more coffee. So if there, if nothing happened for a while. Anyways, that was that. But no, I, I don't know when I've ever fought a manual battle up here. Uh-oh. Something happened with the map edge. I'm guessing that's the height goes spills over the edge of the map. It's kind of funny, right? It's it's like a 3D map. It's like one of those maps uh I might get for a kid. All right. Enough is too much. We have a ton of prestige. How much? How much Patterson? 619 for the whole battle. No. No. And the reason is, I just want to focus on microing, microing my uh, my group here. All right, where are we going? Probably far. Oh yeah, we are going far, far away. Uh, I don't know where he ordered us to, so we'll find out. Probably, yeah. I was gonna say probably. <sighs> He may want us on the left, but that ain't good cap fighting territory. So I would order us over there. I'm 
very skeptical we're going to make it there. And I'm not going to make you watch the approach. That's going to... Uh, we're we're going to be stuck behind everybody. We're, we're what kind of condition are we showing? Yeah, well, we're well rested. We haven't fought in months, so... All right, but they're, they're, they're yeah, they're not bad. All right, uh, I'll do the long march, and I'll bring you back when maybe we've made contact or things have, have changed for the more interesting. All right, so I bring you back only to tell you that we found them. This looks like a solid defensive position. Uh, it's not in the right place, right, because the, the point is over here, and honestly, sitting behind this swamp, right, with this stream covered and this, you know, either one of these streams covered and with that high. So it's, it's not bad. It's just, it, it's not great, man. And it looks like we're bypassing it. So they're going to give up the advantage of, of defense. And I'm glad I ordered our guys at least to go to the right. So we don't have to deal with it. I think unfortunately for Brooks, he might run into part of their line and uh, we'll bring you back if that happens. So it absolutely looks to me like it's like Brooks is is probably going to get intercepted and and routed, and it, it does seem odd that so th there are, there are settings in the game where you recognize the AI recognizes when you know, enemies are 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 there, and it seems like usually the AI does because they'll do you know they'll be moving moving, and then it, when the enemy AI does, there's like an abrupt stop, and then they move into to line for battle. It it seems like the friendly AI does not work that way. Uh, that they'll have a moving order, maybe they have attack, and so if anything ends up you know attacking them, maybe they'll be able to respond to it, or if it's directly in their way, they'll try to fight through it. But otherwise, they just continue on to the objective. Maybe you know that's what the advanced command does, but uh, or maybe that's how it's kind of applied here, but all right, Reno is mine. There's a lot of cav here in our force. All right, so yeah, these are all mine, and they appear to all be going to the right. Um, and maybe, yeah, I mean, if they want to fight out here, I'm okay with that. I think we actually kind of just follow the path that Brooks just took. At least the boys should be happy that it will cut their march at probably more than half. All right, so we'll uh, we'll try to get here and see how this goes. And I guess we can still watch the fight. So we still have the 3D. All right, let's slow down here, gents. This isn't... I mean, it looks... Here, let's get ourselves out of here. We don't need to see this. Yeah, I mean, this is, this is a stone wall. I mean, this is... <laughs> They built, they built breastworks behind. Did they trap themselves in between breastworks and a stone wall? I mean, you infantry can climb over both. All right, so now they've realized. Oh, I thought there would be a lot more distance between them when they they did that. Uh, that's probably in this game. I don't know, three hundred yards or so. But uh, cab, right? Eh, uh, ah, whatever. Let's. Let's enjoy those 3D models before the next update breaks it. And again, I think they make the CSA troops look good because there's more color variation, right? The uniforms are less uniform. At least that's where I tend to notice it. And on the wide brim hat models, like those guys tend to look really good. I, I, I don't know what it is. Uh, not, not the best deployment I've ever seen. Also not the worst. But it's pretty bad. Tell me I can take control of these guys. Can I? Can I wonder what happened if I actually did that. Can't remember if I tried that in a battle and just nothing happened. Alright, so that was... Yeah, that's not us. Thank goodness. Looks like everyone is shifting. Oh no, they're all taking my... Nobody, for whatever reason, no one wants to attack through the open. It's so odd. I actually wonder if we could sneak down this right side. Because the stone wall ends here. We might have to fight one or two brigades with it, but I think we could probably still get around. Can we see where everyone else is going? 
<laughs> don't please don't tell me that's what you're actually going to do. I have a terrible feeling it is. Yeah, so that's my Reno. All right, all right, all right. I got it. All right, so we have a new order here. Support friendly unit. We'll see where that should. Okay. Well. <clears throat> That actually... Ooh, that's my entire division? Yeah, no, we don't, we don't actually have anyone over there. Uh, okay, that looks okay. And since we've been ordered to do it, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take this down. We'll try to remember where that is on the battlefield. Uh, our routes turned off. They always come back on. It's fine. We'll still watch the skirmish here because, well, we, we got nothing else to do. Um, I'm guessing you're not in loose formation. So you're probably taking atrocious casualties, yeah. And they're probably outranging you, so you're just going to sit there and take casualties. Probably should lie down, move forward, move backwards, get in loose formation. Anything that's not <laughs> kind of what you're doing. And I think, yes, Reno is ours. And so we are about to get on the battlefield. They want us to go right in the center. Well, they want somebody to end up in the center. They got one, two, three brigades backed up by three brigades. Skirmishers detached. Stonewall. Yeah, we're probably not actually going to do that. And who knows what else. So We're just going to go for kills and to preserve our force. If we get the objective, it's extra prestige, but it's not worth getting our forces butchered for nothing. I think we could do quite a bit of damage out here in the open. As long as we can get the passage through here, now they're going to have high ground, so you know they're, they're probably already going to have a range advantage on us if they have even basic, basic rifle muskets. Uh, but even if they have something less than that, they'll probably be able to equal ours with that kind of range. But I think if we push mostly down and through here, we might have to have one group lose formation prone here and allow the others to pass around to the left. But get into those brigades that are just out in the open. I think that that's, that's where we can do some damage and then uh, force them to sit there and do nothing. Or, uh, I mean, if they sit in their entrenchments, they're not going to be able to help out their friendlies. And if they come out of their entrenchments to help their friendlies, uh, hopefully we can give them a hard time. You know, Reno, you're here and you have the most troops. So, yeah, you just go on up and deploy. We'll have you maybe... Uh, as much as possible. We're going to try to go that way. Engage it will, so. Yeah, they're in good condition. Also good condition, regular training, well-rested regular training. Very, oh, Negley's not mine. I think Negley got butchered in that last battle. Uh, I'm guessing Kimball is just... There he is. He's back, but he's also almost... Yeah, he's up to 2,700, so that's not, not shabby at all. Alright. But we're going to get them moving. And so it must be the third brigade that actually has two bars of experience. Yeah, it's, oh, it's three bars on, on Hatch's second cap. So we're going to get them moving there. I think what we're going to do, it's been a while since I've given waypoints. I'm not sure I remember how to do this. Maybe we'll try to sneak them down and around. I don't know if that was waypoints or not. Yeah, we're playing 2x speed, so it, it looks unusually fast. And it is. Okay. Even though we're going to go through Swamp and it's not, not great, there is, there is a plan, I swear. And I gotta get myself. I don't actually know 
Where am I here? This is me. All right, so we got to move our ourselves up here. Why would we? Why? 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 Well, you know what? If I think that's fast, who am I to argue with me? I feel like I'm having a Johnny Depp in some Pirates of the Caribbean moment or something. I don't know. All right, Reno. No. Oh, what are they up to here? Well, we're going to have him push in. And these guys have been ordered away. Well, that takes up my fun, because now I have to shoot these guys, even if they do a 180. Oh, yeah, that's going to be rough. I'm still not interested in fighting a unit stonewall up on a hill. I hope there are more forces that are coming in the... Okay. Yeah, there are. There, there, there are several other brigades there, and I'm going to go in there. It's a rough position to attack, though. Okay. We can mount up since they abandoned an incredibly strong position. We have order delays on, so this is all going to take a while. And I'm... Where are they? Let's find our... Oh, there we are. Don't even need to find ourselves the old-fashioned way. Is that the old-fashioned way? I guess it's the new-fashioned way. Uh, why don't we get prepared to move up here? Same thing with these guys. It's no longer... That's no longer the route we need. And... Uh... I think these guys can actually come up in the center. Maybe we'll do one down the stone wall, one in the middle, and one far around on the left. And Kimball... Actually, you know what? Kimball can just come right on up here. Alright, so Kim... Now it's... Wait. What's that? What? What is going on? I swear before it said that Kimball... Had very good training, but maybe that was Hatch. I don't know. Alright, so that's where we're going to end up. So I'll try to get myself here. steal off in a way that I think is actually going to work. I'll try it at my level. Let's see if I can get that to go. Oh, that's friendly, Cav. Doing exactly what I was thinking about earlier. Alright, what we'll do is we'll cheese this up, we'll order an attack up, and then we'll just stop it and dismount them. I'm not too sure where the rest of this force is going, so... Oh! They clearly know something we don't. Alright, so we will do that. No, no, no. Okay, they're there. 
they're gonna get ordered in there. Oh no. Well, now we have to mount up. Because we're gonna end up in melee. There we go. Let's retreat out of that. Does that mean something different to you? I was told that retreat was like an automatic order that they usually pull. I didn't think order delays were much affected by them at all. Well, they routed, but probably not far behind. Okay, we're gonna creep up here so we can put fire hopefully into a couple engagements. And I think we're just gonna get as much as we can out of Reno. And then they're gonna get used up here. Unless everyone here is broke. Oh, and they are. Okay, so actually the solution <laughs> The actual solution here is for uh, us to stop charging and try to rally. We'll see if we can retreat out of there. If we break, we break. But honestly, 300 casualties to break three brigades in excellent cover? I think that's just a trade we got to be happy with. All right, we're going to order... Let's get Kimball. should be able to stop. You would think, right? That arena seems to kind of be running the wrong way there. Oh, the enemy's just straight retreating now. Well, that was quick. Another, another break over there. Is that, is that really their cav charging mine? It is. They must have saw Reno do it, and they're like, that guy knows something we don't. I don't know if we're going in for... We may go in for a melee. We just can't stop, so... Alright, we should be wasting those guys. That's fine. Kimball should engage them. Alright, Reno's making a comeback. Alright, I guess they're done here. So let's just... It's just Cav gone wild here, man. And I guess we're now chasing them down rather than breaking other... I mean, we should be trying to break up the units. That's really what we're going for. Okay, Kimball can try to break them. 
Pino has definitely earned his rest. Yes. All right, we're just gonna turn to face them. Speed it up here. So casualties are pretty even, <clears throat> even though they held pretty good ground. I. Just, oh, we are still at two x. We're either still at or went back to. I don't know. Here, we're not gonna catch them at that angle. We need to move. Probably more like this to try to catch them. Reynolds, somehow the, he knows to shoot. Okay, and now Hatch does as well. It's so odd how that works. Alright, they're setting out skirmishers. I have no problems with this, but... Let's, uh... Plus nine casualties on that volley. Can move back. Kimball. Almost in the right place there. I'm surprised Kimball is not more tired than he is. And now they've grown. They've grown? What? It, that, that's not a word. Uh, this here says it's limbered. Let's, let's see if that's true. Let's see. Okay. Anybody else who hasn't routed all routed. Wow. If only they, they could see the routes and, and move to cut them off. I don't know. It says it's limbered over here, so maybe that's true. Maybe it isn't. Move back over there in case it isn't, but there's nobody else we're going to catch. So. Plus 10.5 casualties. I think that was them trying to break away there. Alright, now I think we could even run it at 10x or 20x and get on out of here quick. But I do want to see what prestige we gain from that battle. <laughs> 155, I think Reno's responsible <laughs> for almost all of that, but actually it looked like we were getting a lot from the skirmishes too. I mean, there were a lot of five, six point volleys and a couple exceptionally high ones, so it wasn't just all the melee stuff, but yeah, on the attack against a strong position and we, uh, yeah, they just broke quick, so we'll see how things look for us back in campaign. I don't know, the, the morale and support that they're moving together as they should. I think it's probably the policies and and actions. I, I, I maybe the casualties that are kind of affecting how support and morale are moving because it doesn't seem that we're taking very much territory from them, at least here in the east. But I would let's see if that's true. Yeah, very little. A little bit. I mean, this is over the course of the entire summer. A little bit of inroad here in West Virginia. I think, if anything, we've lost ground in Missouri and not gained much at all in Kentucky. So it's it's been rough. Uh, considering 1862 is... Campaign season is going to end in a month. So uh, Where were we here? That's right. We were way, way up here. And we were red readiness. So... Uh, okay, we were in battle... We took some casualties. I think this is still a bit much. So let's put those back into recruitment, make sure we get max numbers that we can. All right. Battle of Springfield, Army of the West. Uh, so this is Missouri. All right. Let me just make sure I haven't forgot to put an action through. No, we're still waiting on this a little bit longer. All right, and I may, I think it's safe to put you on pause, just given where we are. If things change, I can bring you back, but I'm not too sure that there'd be that much. Eh, famous last words. All right, so we're going to do a little bit of a, an end-of-the-year roundup, just to 
show what and, and no battles or anything kind of that interesting took place uh, we still have Johnson still trying to get past this Fort Delaware and they're certainly racking up I mean overall right they're at 68 we're at like 73 74 the average of those two and so we, we finally pulled ahead they have tons of men in the field I assume yeah our debt has actually pretty much stabilized uh, which is good they they're going for the bank act but they're in a credit crisis so they have that uh, weapon production so something's not work so that should not be a project actually that might be one that I left on there that they could do if they wanted to but I should probably just zero that one out because that one's just stupid to have they're, they say they're not recruiting so I, I'm guessing that at 252 was just floating reinforcements uh, and it says they're carrying out offensive operations but we see overall they're way behind on the battle probably a good 20 of those wins though are just Joe Johnston running into Fort Delaware being the and retreating but there's another I mean they, they have taken 10,000 more casualties they don't have the same manpower pool to draw from and uh, so that's going on I've also found some other things in camp that are I, I guess questions are, are worth noting on so this is the army command it says right unit cannot use force much we know that and it has a slightly lower reinforcement speed I don't know if that means replenishment of units and, and the rate at which reinforcements come and supply, kind of kind of build up the, the depleted units. I, I, I can't really tell. So I've put some stuff in into reinforcement. Honestly, when it comes to recruitment, I don't even know that I really see the point of this anymore. I'll probably take that, that point out. Uh, given that we are in winter and hopefully we're not going to be moving, and if there is, there's not too much we can do, I don't even know that we have to keep three probably go down to two here so that, that should free up some more uh, victory points or not victory points but action points or hours of the day to put elsewhere i found that having yeah, i'm still gaining weight even though i've pretty much put myself on absolute crap diet uh but i guess that's more of a health thing than, than a weight thing but we've also just been really really just sedentary hanging out but i guess i Either I lost these guys when I loaded in from a save, or it was part of my old headquarters and I never rehired the new ones, but I don't know, this is a spot I, I might stay at with a while, so I hired them, and let me tell you, they have, adding them, have absolutely helped me push through here in rank pro, uh, progression here. So, it's it would have been really expensive earlier, I mean, now it's nothing to pay 354 prestige, but I feel like I hired these guys and I'm just going to be sitting around anyways, uh, so I... I don't know that it would necessarily be worth it to do because I think we're going to get it probably within a month or two but it costs a lot more to try to go up and take Patterson's it was like nine and a half K before yeah so it's still and maybe it's because I have to be up at the rank of major general and then I think it says the cost like say, prestige cost for new command appointments will be lower for every day serving in the same command level so I'd be at the same rank if I were a major general, but I wouldn't be at the same command level. So I'm not really sure how to get that. And I, I don't want to go through the trouble of what I had in the past, in, in the past campaign, where you got a new army, but it wasn't really fully formed, and it was smaller than the division I left. So that's that. But on the campaign front, friendlies did make an incursion for quite a while here into uh, Virginia. We can see they actually pushed a little bit so this is just one of the things the Union AI does. I notice this no matter what side I'm on. They kind of push into that supply desert that's out there in... Uh, I was going to say eastern Tennessee. This is you know, really, really western Virginia. Uh, but this whole area here, uh, eastern Kentucky, west Virginia, east Tennessee, west Virginia, it, it's just really rough. But at least there were inroads that were made there. It looks like the CSA actually, though, uh, we won a battle of Springfield and then we lost. You can see by all the... Uh, little battle markers there that uh, that's being heavily contested so I think the CSA is on the offensive there it's a stalemate in the middle and we don't even have that many forces committed to it uh, I know when I play as Union this is a big area of operations and we usually push into West Virginia Kentucky down in Missouri and then we try to take Nashville and then hold pretty much on a line from like Carrollton all the way over and then we'll maybe move to Chattanooga Memphis and then Fort Smith over to Little Rock, and uh, then try to try to link up over here before pushing further. So 
And then usually the war ends kind of when we get through Tennessee and into northern Alabama, northern Mississippi. Uh, sometimes we raid into Atlanta, but Anyways, that's that. Uh, so I'm, I'm content to kind of just sit here. We're waiting for, we, we have quite a bit of money. You can see the things that we've been doing. It's been a lot of spamming the fundraising thing. We're waiting on the next prestige. Oh, no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. we are engaged in politics. What, what are these lies? Oh, no, we're not. That's why it wasn't moving. Well, that was silly. Uh, right, so we're going to take that out of readiness. Yeah, that, that would have taken a very long time to do. Alright, well, I thought we were doing that one. We weren't, so we'll wait for that one to get done. It usually takes about six weeks or so. But yeah, the, the prestige cost of just adding... I mean, these guys together were probably, I don't know, 350 or so in terms of prestige. Certainly not more than 400 for, for the three of them. I mean, they give their own benefits, right? Supply efficiency. So I think they're actually helping me become a better administrator. Uh, food supplies. I mean, none of this was a problem in ammunition. I assume a lot of that has to do with admin, and that's why we've kind of gained this extra star here. But they're also... I'm pretty sure that they're having an effect on, on this rank progression. And then in camp, uh, planning with staff, that seems to help. And I found that keeping maybe two hours kind of keeps the status quo with your subordinates. And we we had good relations with all of them. And so I don't see much much need to change that one up. Uh, but yeah, I'm pretty good with two hours and most other things. The readiness is, the, the training is the one thing I cannot figure out. Uh, granted, I don't know, maybe these were all raised relatively soon before I got them, and that's why their training level is so low. Uh, but we'll see what the entire division's training level is. It's regular, but I think Kimball's probably still still poor, and I, I wonder if that has something to do with kind of a lack of administrative skill, but it might also have something. I'm not sure if, if, if readiness would have an effect on that or not, but better administrative skill will certainly help in the readiness. And when I put more points, it might have been random, uh, but when I put a little bit more influence into increasing readiness. Patterson's staff influence readiness was 6% and went up to 7%. So I, I don't know. But thankfully he's not been moving and hopefully he doesn't. But I think with that we can safely end this episode. It looks like we're in the Winter Sits Krieg. And so my guess is we'll probably pop up in the next episode. Who knows, but hopefully in the campaign season, hopefully we'll get some action because I think I'm about as reinforced as I'm going to get. And so I uh, hope you enjoyed it and hope to have you back for the next one.